Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Artisan Valley. <clears throat> this is a modded playthrough series where we've added a lot of mods and we just play the game and see how it goes. We're in year two, summer. It's Olga's birthday today. Um, we can only sell artisan goods, so this treasure chest is not an artisan good, so it's a decoration. Which is actually kind of upsetting because... I'd like to be able to sell it for the money, but hey Gus, good morning. It's pretty early. Uh, what a beautiful day, huh? You know, as a saloon owner, I hear about everything that's going on in town. I remember when you first moved here, everyone was a bit unsure of what to expect. A stranger from the city? An unknown personality? And I just wear trash cans on my head. <laughs> Sorry, I have to stir this pot every five minutes. Anyway, what else? What was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, it's like when you're making a sauce. If you could put a new spice, if you, if you put a new spice in, you could ruin everything. But then again, there's always a chance you'll create something new and delicious, right? <laughs> yep. Er, what I'm trying to say is, it's been great having you in town, and I think, and I've come to think of you as one of my good friends. Anyway, I came to give you something. I was cleaning out the back of the room, and I found this old mini jukebox. I want you to have it. Thanks. I received a mini jukebox. It's actually an old do-it-yourself project of mine from many years ago. They're pretty easy to make. So just in case you wanted to make more, I brought the blueprints for you. Nice. Well, I'm gonna head home. I gotta get this marinara back on the stove. Have a good one. Bye, guys. I'm gonna put it down, but the music's turned off, so you won't be able to hear it anyway. What should we give Olga for her birthday? Souffle? Lion, this is one of the most challenging recipes I have, but I'm quite proud of it. Souffles aren't easy to make and having high quality ingredients is essential and it shouldn't be a problem for you. I hope you share the results if you give it a try. <clears throat> Hello Lion, thanks for coming to the saloon again and again. I was thinking if you got a taste for gourmet food, this recipe might interest you. It's a good one that got me started back in my early days as a chef. Poached pear. I must have got like a bunch of friendships with Gus. Dear Lion, here's a recipe from my son. It was his birthday. I only shared this with my good friend's cranberry sauce. Oh. I'm really glad you're part of our community. I'm closed a 500G check for the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help continue your good work. Make sure you buy some seeds with it. Lush. So I think at the end of last episode, we went and brought all of these soda makers. So we need to get a bunch of iron. Kitty cat! Hello! Here's a room we haven't checked in a while. We haven't checked back here. Let's see how it's going. It's not too bad. I don't know like... What's like a good regenerative cycle. We got a diamond. That's pretty nice if we could sell it. I'm thinking of moving the greenhouse too, but I don't know where to. And then I was thinking, because the pig seems to struggle with collecting truffles, I'm thinking it can't on this, so it has to do it on this. But I'm not sure if that's how that works, that maybe we build another pig, like another barn, and fill it with pigs somewhere else. It's an artisan good. So are these tea bags too. Which I looked up, you can't actually do anything with, so that's fine. Um, I'm hoping eventually we can put our fish in the fish tank, which is what I brought the fish tanks for. I'm a bit disappointed about that. Um, I don't know what to do, so let's just go to Ridgeside. And then maybe we'll find a, a, a mine of some sort to collect some resources. I think it's you, but I'm going to talk just to make sure. Yeah. I'm glad my brother and his wife are back. I heard they're going to set up a seed shop soon too. Come visit when you have a chance. 
A birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. I want a tortoise to be my friend. And kiwi. I want those two guys to like me. I guess the other thing we could do is we could go and give Claire a gift. Is she working today? Oh, is she at yoga at, at the workout thing? Yoga? What do they do? Aerobics? I want to go see. Because we had that cutscene where she wanted to join the aerobics, so maybe she joined them. So now every Tuesday she does aerobics. Oh, that'd be so cool. Hi, Abigail. Yep, speed walking. She's on a mission. Good place to be. So do I. I've got to check out the aerobics. Yeah, let's go, Claire! You go, girl! Eight hearts! Let's go! That's so cute! I guess today is just a day of running around. Care to buy anything? Yeah, I think I might buy the star drop today. Thanks, friend. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of wine. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. Oh, so there's some signs that I can change. Cool. I don't know what they correlate to, but I guess we'll keep adventuring. There has to be something like in here, right? There's another long corridor that will probably end in a dead end again. Nope, it just loops back. So there's been one room so far. Well, at least I know I can't lose the exit because everything goes to the exit. This is not what I intended when I said I was going to go to the mines and get ore. I'm going to be honest. I thought I'd actually get ore. But that's fine. Because I think... This will just take me out at at Suzu. Oh no, it takes me to more mines. Okay. More mines, more sewers. Hey, I'd love to talk, but I'm doing some research to do right now. Okay. So this it's not safe down here, ma'am. Then why are they taking me and not you? So this so there's a something there, but I don't know how to get there. So there's nothing. I explored it all. There's just blocked pathways. Let's see if we can make, if we have enough iron to make at least one of the soda machines. We have enough for at least two because they're all kind of two additional soda, carbonator, coal maker, creaming soda maker, syrup maker. Which one do we want to make? They're all the same. Good thing we brought so much coal. Let's just make them in order. So we've got an, and then we've got a carbonator. Cool. I'm gonna pop you down. How do we use you? From fruits, sparkling water, and sugar. Cool. How do you make sparkling water? Probably the carbonator, right? Which is this one. Fruit and no. Okay. Sparkling water, coal, and fresh water. Okay. How do you get fresh water? Flower flavoured sparkling water with coal and flour. Okay, how do you get fresh water though? So basically what I'm hearing is if I put these here, they're not going to do anything. Cool. That's fine. Um, no, that's just fine. Don't give it to you. It's just fine. Here you go. Let me figure out how to make fresh water tomorrow. I wonder if there's a machine for it. Tomorrow we're gathering for the luau. 
Ah uh, yes, the luau. I always know what to put in that. I definitely never have to Google it. A yogurt maker! We did it! So do we put this one in here? Go yogurt, one day! I hope it's cool. Okay, museum. Maru. Mines for iron. And then I might have to Google. Where am I going over here? Strawberries. I might have to do a quick little Google on how to um, make fresh water to then make it into sparkling water to then be able to make soda. Or if you buy the fresh water and where do you buy it from? Town. How much does it cost? Can I even afford an upgrade? I can. Thanks, Clint. Appreciate you. Vincent's a good buddy of mine. He's fun to be around. It's a good day here. I mean, have a, having a good day. <laughs> Donate. I was so sad about not being able to rearrange the museum. And I was like, maybe I can do this. Yes, okay, I can rearrange it. Let's go. One more bundle complete. Two to go. We just need an apple and a pomegranate. A seed maker. Nice. Ooh, this cutscene. Voila, my latest creation. It is a deluxe four poster bed crafted from the finest local hardwood. Um, Robin, what's the point of the four post? It seems like an ineffective use of materials. Everyone loves four posted beds for some reason. It's called beauty, bud. <laughs> you know that thing that most people find enjoyable? I don't want to get into this. Hmm, I see your point, but we can't let that outweigh the utility and efficiency of the sleep receptacle. You know, sometimes it feels like you're being deliberately a obtuse just to irritate me is that what you're doing oh turn around and leave hey lion come in check this this out it's a bed that i was able to make thanks to all the wood you gathered so what do you think the aesthetics are perfect the four seem the fish the aesthetics are perfect There's no right choice there. You either make one of them mad. Well, if anyone needs me, I'll be in the doghouse. So it's like you either make Robin mad or you make Demetrius mad. Now I have a prototype. I can start selling them in the shop. Hey, these might look good in your place, Lion. What do you say? Can we pencil you in for half a dozen? Ooh. Um, my house has two rooms. Where would I put half a dozen of them? Hey, what is this? A birthday gift? That's great. Thanks for remembering me. Penny and I have been doing a seasonal book club. It's just the two of us, but it's still fun to discuss what we're reading. Oh, that's cool. While you're here, I'll give everybody a gift. Alright, now that our inventory is super full and we're going to get told off, let's go to the mines. Hey, that's the, the foraging thing I can't say. Spa ra spa parala. Spur, 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 puller, Spar, 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 Miner's Diary, Chapter 2, Winter 20th Year, 504. Life in this valley has started to show its sheer difficulty. I thought the monsters in the mines were a big enough problem, but the cold here is like nothing I've ever encountered before. No crops can grow in these in this brutal cold, except for these snow yams you see really. Though there's not enough for the town to survive on. We've barely been getting by on fishing, but the rations we've made before winter have been running low. <laughs> I'm starting to fear what happened 
what will happen to this town. Some of the townsfolks are going to trek up the mountains, see if they can't find some forage up there. I'm doubtful, but how? What do we have to lose? Winter 22nd year, 504. <clears throat> Folks in the town have been talking about the bright star in the sky. For some reason, we've only been able to see just how bright it is this winter. Some of the more superstitious folk have been saying it brings good luck and we're blessed to see it with how this winter has been going. I wonder if we're blessed or cursed to be here. I will say though that there is something comforting about seeing that light in the sky. Winter 24th year 504. We lost some people to the cold these past few days. I'm hoping we don't lose any more. The forage team just got back and they were at least able to find some food. Sadly not enough to last longer than a day or two but maybe our luck will change. Winter shouldn't last too much longer, so we just gotta hold out until spring comes. I've been trying to give some of the kids and the older folk a bite of my share of food. Yoba knows they need it more than I do. I even gave a bit of my rations to that little turtle in town. Don't know how the fellow is surviving in this weather, let alone finding food. Least I can do is give him some food and a blanket to keep him warm. Went to 25th, year 504. By Yoba! A damned miracle happened today. When I awoke and came out this morning, I found my yard filled with them snow yams. Apparently the mariners said their fishing line. Mariners? Mar mariners? Mariners? Ma mariners? Said their fishing lines were filled as well. It's like Yoba heard our cries and came to feed us themselves. Even one of the stars down in the a aged Aldrin's house turned into this purple fruit. I don't know what happened last night, but I won't question these gifts. Thanks to this miracle, we can make it to spring without worry. It's crazy, like, I could leave the mines and just, like, take the minecarts to my house and go empty my inventory and come back, but, like, that's so much work. Hey, Pam. Alright, coffee. Probably only need eight, but... We're rebels. And then the rest is strawberries. We did it! We finally put something in the greenhouse. Are you guys proud of me? Now, what tree are you? Avocado. And that's summer, summer, fall, fall, winter, winter. So apple tree go here. So tomorrow we're going to go to Robin's and we're going to see if we can get a water pump. Because then maybe we could get fresh water, which then we can turn into soda. Oh no, but it's the luau, so we can't. Hey Lion, ever wondered what it likes to have cola, koalas on your farm? Well, neither did I until Dad and I recently collaborated on some research. It looked like koalas can, can't can live in Stardew Valley, but their own, the only source of food can. Here's a leftover eucalyptus sapling from our research in case you're interested. Oh, nice. I want a koala now. I'm going to have to set up... I think what we're going to have to do is start separating like into like little things like this that we've got going on. So basically we need to build a bunch of sheds. Boils fruit or flowers and sugar together make delicious fresh syrup. Haha! -ha. A coat yogurt. That's so cool looking. A tart yogurt that is flavoured in some lands. We could probably make it flavoured if we put vegetables and fruit in there. There's going to be so many people to talk to I just realised. Wow this beach has been cooking in the sun all day. I hope the governor's journey here wasn't troubled by anything. Usually they hire mercenaries to clear out the path ahead of time. There's so many things to pick here, I can hardly pick. There's so many things to eat. That's it, I'm not going to pick, I'm going to try it all. Oh, he's going to be full. Hey, how am I meant to talk to the wizard? Should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little angry. Let's start! Everybody welcome and welcome everyone. I'm pleased to announce that the potluck ceremony has begun. I have high hopes that you all contribute high quality ingredients. We don't want to leave the governor with a we want to leave the governor with a good impression now. Well, governor, would you like to indulge us with the honorary first tasting? 
the moment of truth. Was a iridium milk good enough? I'd be delighted. I've been dying the soup all afternoon. Dot dot dot. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. You're right, it's delicious. It'd be funny if he was like, this is the best, and then Mayo was like, what are you on about? This is gross. <laughs> Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who wants a taste? Governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. We made a powdered sugar. That's not as good. I can shell it. All right, last day tomorrow. We're going to go to Robin's to try and get a water pump. Um, I don't know what we'll need for that, so that's fun. Oh, we're now. We made a fruit syrup. That's cool. Watermelon syrup. Also, an artisan good we could sell. We got two owl statues. Both of them in the same thing. Yogurt made from cow's milk is plain with a slightly sweet flavour. Down. Ooh. That's a good boy, Dusty. Good doggo. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Lion, did you ever hear me talking? Yes, I heard everything. I get it though. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, ruined everything for me and my mum. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I was worthless, that I never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he wasted his youth doing nothing and has gone nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what's going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that, Mum got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this line. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecue steak. Yeah. Work. How many cutscenes are we gonna walk into now because of the little owl? That's how it always goes. You received an Iridium X. Hey, I'm here, hello. Line, hi, come in. I've been working on a new project, something big. This is just one component. Let me show you a little demonstration. Just put your hand here. And now I'm going to flip the switch. Ooh. Oh my goodness, are you all right? Here, let me apply this burn cream. Magically, I'm all okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It doesn't even hurt. You better be. This hurts like crazy. It's okay. It doesn't even hurt. Oh no. Well, that makes me feel a little better then. Thanks. That kind of ruined the moment, huh? So. It's all right. Which makes happen? Shop. Pump, is that what it is? A pump that pumps fresh water from underground works automatically. That's probably what it is, right? I'll buy the recipe. Because I don't think it would be... Yeah, there's nothing new in there. I need to buy one of these.
Hello. Oh, hey, hey, Elion. What you doing all the way out here at Owl Farm? Ooh, you're visiting Big Sis Alyssa, aren't you? Um, ha ha ha, I'm just kidding, Lion. Anyway, wait a second. I have to attend to big old Bobbert here. Is that your plant? Oh, Bobbert? He's this little plant here. Yeah, that's cool. And there you go, your daily sprinkle of water, my good sir. She's talking to the plants. You're doing a good job taking care of them. You're kind of weird, kid. Those are plants. You're doing a good job taking care of them. Really, Lion? Coming from a farmer? That means a lot. And this one over here is Lily. Want to give her a sprinkle of lime? Come on, it's fun. I have sprinklers for that now. Here you go, Lion. I don't have to do it myself. Sometimes I miss it. Yay, she's a little happier now. Cute. Thank you for keeping me company, Lion. Also, I hope you didn't find it weird that I talk to my plants. I really love taking care of plants, and it's a bit more fun when you talk to them. Well, come on, let's go water everybody else. I like that you gave them all names. That's really cool. Damn, we must have gotten a fair amount of friendship with her. Hey, Aki, come on, let's go play. Wait a minute, Trin. I still have to help Dad with some work. Might take some time here. Oh, how long is it going to be? Trini, how about I buy you a smoothie while you wait for Kihi? Ki 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 ahi. Marine, oh my, you're the best! And I can finish up my work a lot faster without you pestering me. Corrine, thank you. Now just wait. Now just wait patiently for Kihi. Now, right? Kihi, Kihi, Kihi. Oh, hey there, Lion. Nice to see you. Hey, Lion. Hey, can you keep me company while well I wait for Kihi? Kihi. Yay! Let's talk for a while, Lion. Ah, refreshing. I want a smoothie. I can get a smoothie. Trini then proceeds to talk about the games they play with the other kids. It sure is fun to be a kid. How I miss those days. When did I last come to Ridgeside? It must have been a while ago. And so I'll be contacting Zane regarding the issue with the G Corporation. Don't worry, Shanice. Shanice. They don't have any valid claim on the old school you used to teach back at Zuzu. Thank you, madam. That sketchy corporation has been nabbing buildings recently and it has me, me worried. And Lenny, my company's representative, has secured a contact, contract with Jojo. You must, receive, you must have received their proposal of building a branch here. We'll be discussing that soon. For now, don't worry about needing to cut down trees on the west side of the mountain. We have time to convince them for... For a more eco-friendly approach. Phew. I almost asked Lulu for help with this one. I'm not even sure how he'd handle these. I know the local store owners here might start to hate me if I sided with Jojo. Lenny, why must you care first? Why must you care how others feel about you first? Keep in mind, I'm not helping you prevent Jojo. I'm simply working with the best interest of this valley. You best start to think more of being a leader rather than a crowd pleaser. Ouch. But yeah, I get your point, Maeve. Don't worry, I'll be doing my best. I'm not even sure if that reached you. And it's Madame Maeve to you. Yeah, yeah, Toma tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. Ah, farmer. Just the person I need to talk to. I don't like Jojo. Whatever you're going to say, no. Sonny, please accompany Lenny and Shanice, Shanice back to their rooms. I can't say the word and it's gone now. Give Shanice my grandson's contact information too so Zane can discuss the matter more directly. Certainly, madame. Oh, that handsome young ambassador's number. Can you give it to me as well, Sonny? No. 
She's pretty mean. Walk with me, Mama. I understand that your late grandfather entrusted you has entrusted Artisan Valley Farm in your hands. It seems like rather momentum momento task for a farmer former desk worker to who appears to have little to no prior experience of farming. I'll have you know that I've been keeping an in keeping an interested eye on that valuable and fertile land that you now call home. I've had my hands off it due to leg legal fees and out of respect for that rascal's wishes. But know this, I have high expectations for you for how you'll manage and use the farm. All I want is that what's best for this valley and I hate to see useless assets in the valley laying around achieving nothing notable when it has so much potential. My point is, I expect you to live to this valley's expectations, Farmer Lion. And... Don't let him and her down. Who's him and her? This madame looks sad. Oh, she's not here. Oh, there she's there. You remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. Leah was telling me about some meal she made from forest forageables. I guess people run just pick up things off the ground. Is it safe? Um... I guess so. Five iron bars! <laughs> wow. Okay, I got the things you wanted. Greetings, Wanderer. Who's there? Why am I hearing things? Who's there? I'm observer of this realm for centuries. The wind carries whispers of your arrival and now fate and some twine. What do you seek from me? I feel like I had this conversation. Bring me the essence of the forest. A maple seed, common mushroom, and blue jazz. In return, I shall illuminate the path ahead. Consider it done. I just brought you stuff. In the tranquility of nature's embrace, you shall find the essence you seek. The co comments of elements await the harmony and life of twined. Venture forth for the answers you seek await. Let the essence of nature guide you. When the sun raises on a new day, return to this cave. The path you seek will be illuminated. Ooh. 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 Five gold ore. Oh. oh my goodness, I forgot about these guys. Why are there so many of them? Is there a stronger weapon in the game? Because I need it. I guess Ginger Island and upgrades would make it stronger. We should come here if I ever need to find crabs of any type. Because this is where they all seem to spawn, apparently. Ooh, hello. I think I'm going to pass out down here. Because there's just too much to explore. Okay, well, we got further because I didn't walk over the pressure thingy that I forgot. That I didn't know what it was last time. We got an achievement or something. I heard the pating. So what achievement did we get? Millionaire! That's not true. Well, we have to go back, but with a maple seed, a common mushroom, and a blue jazz. With all things we should have. Well, everybody, it's Saturday the 13th. You know what that means. It's raining. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day and night, wherever it may be for you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!